G'day fellas, welcome back to another video which is part of the improvement checklist. In this video we're going to be taking a look at two different build orders that you can do for the Portuguese in the early game. The first one is going to be for land maps that have got trading posts. The second one is going to be for water maps where you're not going to be going for trading posts. The way the video is going to work, it's going to be in two parts. You're going to have the first part which is focusing on the land maps, the second part which is on the water. The starts are both very similar, so let's get into it. We're going to start by moving all of our villages over onto the crates with the exception of two which are going to be moving over onto the hunts. Let's get to it. Explorer moving out immediately. Now, it depends on which map you actually get as to where you move your Explorer. It's something that you will learn with time. Um, normally, so on this map as an example, uh, you always want to move out to the north. It depends which trading post uh, you want to go for. So sometimes the trading post can spawn a little bit closer to your town center. Uh, but uh, we, we're actually just going for this north trading post right here. And the reason why we're going for this north trading post is because it's going to be getting the first pass of XP uh, that you can actually build. If you were to build down here, you wouldn't actually get the first pass of XP until your uh, your cart goes all the way through here and then comes back through out the bottom. Uh, so what we might even do, we might even just put a cheat on for you guys. X marks the spot. Uh, so as an example, uh, if we were to go down here, then you'd have to wait all that extra time for it to come in like that. Uh, and it's always a little bit risky going for this trading post. Sometimes you can go for that trading post on this map. Uh, but now you can see there is our rickshaw coming in. So we're not going to be taking any treasures in this game because I'm going to demonstrate to you guys exactly how this can be done uh, without treasures. Uh, let us get uh, let's get a little bit of herding done because right now our hunt's moving a bit far away. Probably doing a little bit too much talking and not enough herding. Uh, so first shipment has now come in. So we're going to be taking the ATP shipment as our first shipment. If this was a water map, we'd be taking schooners as our first shipment. And we're just transitioning villages very carefully over. So you can see that we we can spot that the the musk deer is slowly running out of resources. So instead of all of our villages sort of move, moving over and getting in, in the way of each other. We're just moving them over slowly through the town center, and when that comes down towards zero, then we'll move over the last villager, uh, make, making shoot, sure that we shoot the uh, the next musk. So now moving these villagers over. These ones are also getting pretty low, so down towards 40 food. So we'll begin moving those through as well. Uh, and so now we're getting up towards a, a uh, 800 uh, food. When we do, there'll be a pause in the video. Okay, I'll, I'll actually pause it for you guys right now. And we'll talk about it because every single game you can see, I've done this without food treasures, okay? You're going to be aging up around this time, okay? Two minutes and 10 seconds is when I'm going to be clicking up. I expect you guys are going to be able to do the same. Now, if you find a food treasure, it's going to be a different story. So here you've got a wood treasure. Here you've got a 75 food treasure. How long do you think it takes me to, to gather 75 food? Probably like six, seven seconds, maybe. Maybe even eight seconds. Uh, so that, that is a, a decent chunk of change when it comes to your age up time. So look for those food treasures. See what you can spot. Uh, so transition, we're going to be going up with the Quartermaster in both build orders. If you're watching for the water build order, you'll move on to the second part of the video. Now let's continue on with the land build order and I'll show you exactly how we do that. All right. So going up with the Quartermaster and then moving everybody over onto wood. Our explorer is going to be over here. We actually spot his explorer. What are you, what are you doing there, enemy explorer? Hopefully you're not taking that trading post. So we're going to begin taking the trading posts, working our way down the trading post line. Now, don't be afraid when it comes to uh, sending out villagers to build trading posts. Don't be afraid to send out multiple villagers. I'm not actually sure what he's doing. I'm just going to shoot him so that he, he goes away from that trading post. He's probably going to attack me now, which is kind of going to be going to be a little bit frustrating because he's going to be sending off that alarm. But hey, at, at least we got this trading post down. I'm kind of I'm kind of tempted just to get the the Tominator out right now and just get him there because uh, that was that was a mistake shooting him. So now we're gonna move a villager down here to the south and we're gonna start be, uh, start taking this trading post. Is he still attacking me? Go away, mate. That is that is annoying. Uh, so this is the next trading post that we're gonna be taking. And moving now on to the next, I'm, I'm gonna try and snare and break that snare. There we go. Easy. So this villager is, is claiming this trading post. Now we can send another villager down to here. Move this villager down to the south. Our explorer has come in here. And so we, we've just got this started. That's all that we need to do. That's, that's all it's really about. And now we'll claim, claim this one in the middle. And now we're coming up to 350. So we're going to get our town center down over this way. Make sure that we get villagers out onto this as quickly as possible. Sending in our 700 wood. 
I'm going to start dropping this one down. So we're at 3 minutes 50 and we secure the entire trading line. Now we finally get everybody back over onto food. We'll make sure that we get our herds in as well. Gosh, that was a bit, that was a bit bad. And just want to make sure that we've got all of our villagers here. Uh, onto on the appropriate uh, on the appropriate resources. We might make a house up here as well. Now, just like uh, the the previous uh, build order, keep in mind you're not going to be making military production building just yet. You're going to wait for your 700 uh, wood. I say the previous build order. Uh, we're uh, I guess we're in the first build order, aren't we? So now moving this villager over, uh, moving this villager over uh, to to build a barracks over here, sending in six musketeers from the home city. And now we're not training any villagers at this point and we're going to be researching our trade cart upgrade. You can see that's perfectly uh, researched at this point. And now moving our explorer back down to help build this. We'll just move this settler over onto this hunt afterwards. So there's quite a bit going on. Change the rally point on our shipments to get our musketeers in uh, for the next shipment. Send that back over there and begin training settlers now. So we want to try and get those settlers up and out as quickly as possible. We'll drop down a, a second house as well and we're going to send... Eight crossbows from the home city and begin training pikemen. And now keep in mind, these six muskets are going to be out nice and early. We're at five minutes and 18. Make sure that we move all of these out. Continue hunting. And uh, you can see that we are slowly training up those villagers. Uh, once this trade cart has been researched, that's when we're going to be transitioning over to essentially just to, to food and, and wood on our... On our... Uh, on our trading posts. So now that we've got that, so move everything over onto food. So we get the first pass. And so now I can begin training settlers with that first pass. And so now I'm training settlers out of both of my town centers. My crossbows have arrived. I've got four pikemen and I'm about to get a batch of five more pikemen out. And take a look how early this is in the game. We're at the six minute mark. I'm going to pause it for you guys. We've got five trading posts. We've got stagecoach up, which is the equivalent now of about 31 settlers. And we've got, how many military units is that? That's eight, nine pikemen, eight crossbow, that's 17. We've got 23 military units out at six minutes. Good luck to anybody trying to stop this because I tell you what, it is an absolute unstoppable behemoth when it comes to this. Uh, your next option after this is uh, whether you want to go to the fortress age, you can look at potentially sending 700 coin. Keep most of your uh, your crates on, on food and coin. Or you can continue pressuring your opponent. Maybe look to play a bit more economically. Drop down a market. The choice is yours. Now let's move into the next build order, which is going to be focusing on the water. So up until this point, exactly the same things. Ideally focusing on finding those food treasures in early age one. That's really going to be key. Dropping down the trading post as well. Now, keep in mind, there's a couple of other different build orders where you don't drop down a trading post in this build order. We're going to be doing that, though. Let's get to it. So now, going up and going to be aging up with the quartermaster, moving all of our villagers over onto wood and sending... We're going to be sending one villager out and doing it a little bit forward. Now, when it comes to this, there's a number of different ways and different philosophies. We're also going to be sending in schooners. It's important uh, to send in your schooners nice and early. We can afford to send it in a little bit late. I don't think we're going to be getting our first fishing boat out for at least 40 seconds, so not a bad spot. Uh, so typically what you want to be doing is forwarding your town center and your dock towards the middle of the map uh, when it comes to exactly where you put it down. Often you'll see people put it down a little bit close down here and do their, their dock boom up here. Ideally, you actually want to be doing it towards the middle of the map. It's going to be a lot easier for you to defend that. Uh, and so we're going to be dropping down our dock with our first 200 wood. So moving out our villager to the ocean, timing it so that our villager hopefully arrives at about 200 wood and then dropping down a dock. There it goes. And now Schooners has just arrived. So the next 100 wood that we get, we're going to be building our house. We're going to make sure that we send our waypoint down here towards the uh, down towards the, the dock that we're building up. Second shipment has arrived. We're not going to be sending it here. We're going to be waiting for the second age and then we'll be doing it. We'll actually be dropping our house down right here on the coastline and moving our, our villager back. And then once we've got enough, we're going to be moving everybody over onto food. So now we go over and we create one fishing boat right now. And now sending 700 wood from the home city. There it comes in. And we're going to be making sure that we pick up all of that wood that is on the ground. And we want to try and get up so that we avoid idling as, as quickly as possible. Uh, we need to get up to that 100 
food. So we, we are, looks like we're going to go a little bit idle here. I think our turkeys have walked off. It's probably been, what, 90 seconds since we've seen our turkeys and they've already decided to go on a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a voyage. Uh, so now we're going to be making sure that we, we get a few more villagers over onto wood at this point. That is very frustrating. And make sure that we drop down that town center nice and close to the water. We're dropping down our second dock as well. And make sure that we've, we're have we now going to begin gathering up that wood. And with this, we're going to be dropping our... Actually, we might take these sheep. Just pretend that these aren't uh, aren't sheep. Pretend that they're something that are other than sheep. And now we're going to be dropping down our third dock here. Because typically, you're not going to have sheep on other maps. So just pretend that these are turkeys or something on the ground like that. But... Uh, we're now gathering up those resources that we can to uh, to drop the uh, the next uh, the next uh, the next villagers. So now the next shipment that we're sending in is going to be rendering plant. Uh, you can see that our resources are really starting to build up. We're about to get our town center up, and that's going to enable us. There we go. We can now create uh, more fishing boats, and we're going to continue dropping our houses along the shoreline here. Moving all of our villages here onto wood. Now in Florida, you could probably get, uh, you could probably get Gangsaw. We're not going to get Gangsaw here because we want to emulate an environment where you wouldn't have access to that market nice and early. Uh, and so now continuing to train fishing boats, uh, making sure. So the idea is we want to make sure that we saturate all of our uh, fishing on water. Uh, so we want to make sure that, uh, sorry, we want to saturate our water economy so that they've got enough. Uh, so we've got enough resources incoming to maintain villager production. And then we're going to be transitioning it over uh, from that and moving over onto Wales. Uh, because we're going to be looking at doing a potential fast fortress. Now the next card that we're sending in is Whale Oil. You can send in 400, uh, 700 coin here. Uh, but instead we're going to be sending in Whale Oil. It's a bit more of an economic build order, a bit more greedy. Uh, now that we've got enough resources to actually uh, in ensure that we've got a steady villager income... We're able to begin transitioning over onto Wales. Dropping down our house. Our house is a little bit late here. We might actually cancel these and, and instead we'll get some fishing boats out. And with the coin that we're getting from the Wales, we're going to be able to get the uh, gill nets upgrade. So an important upgrade. So make sure that we queue that one up as well. And then fishing boat in here. Fishing boat in the next one. And you don't be afraid to just send out a, a fishing boat in either direction just so that you can uncover, find where all those whales are because ideally you want to be getting out onto those whales as quickly as possible. Uh, so now training more fishing boats, continuing to train villagers as well. Gone a little bit idle here. Make sure we move out our villagers out over onto this next wood line. See if we've spotted those whales. So there's another whale up here. So we'll send out some villagers or some uh, fishing boats up onto that one. Make sure we drop down our next, uh, our next house. So uh, it's important to keep your uh, your villages are the ones that need to be staying in production, and your fishing boats are kind of like the the second one. Like it doesn't really matter if you go idle with your fishing boats or with your uh, with your docks because you're going to be able to build that up really really quickly uh, when it comes to. It. I'm not sure what this guy is doing. Where are you, where are you going? Uh, we're going to get you to herd in nonetheless. That's fine. And so now you can begin transitioning. So I'm going to pretend that we didn't start off with a market. So I'm going to drop down a market here. Um, and we're now moving towards uh, that sort of, uh, that period where we're looking at getting into the next age. So we've got 28 fishing boats out. So now you can start looking at getting the long lines upgrade. And you can see that we're starting to build up a, a pretty decent amount of uh, resources when it comes to our uh, wood income. So I'm going to start training uh, less and less fishing boats now and, and st sort of tapering off those. Continuing to train villagers though, really important that you continue your villager production more and more and more. And you've, we've got uh, got fishing boats down here there on, on this whale. So that's I think that's going to be our... We might send one more down there. So that'll be... We'll have a total of 16 fishing boats on coin. We've got our villagers up here. So don't be afraid at all. Now we don't actually have any... Uh, any real food income around here. So I'm just going to move these guys down, even though it's probably a little bit of a waste at this point. Because we just want to try and get that age up in queue a little bit faster. You can see that we're so close to it right now. It's almost almost was a little bit pointless, me doing that. And now going up with the Exiled Prince. And then from here, so I'll pause the game for you guys. So this is the standard build order that you're going to be playing on most water maps. Keep in mind that there's going to be other variations if your opponent is aggressive on land. Then you're going to be sending in things like Town Militia. 
if your opponent is aggressive on water, you're going to be sending in things like Advanced Dock. If worst comes to worst, you could be sending in two Carabels or even improved Warships if your opponent really wants to try and fight you on the water. But other than that, fellas, if you think I've missed anything, I encourage you to leave a comment down below letting me know. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.